In this tutorial, I'm showing you how to draw on images using Python and a package called OpenCV. I'm in the third video of an OpenCV Python tutorial series. In the first video, I showed installation, talked about what is OpenCV, and then basic functions. Then in the second video, we did image manipulation, transforming, rotating, cropping. If you haven't watched either of those and you would like to, I have a playlist linked in the description below. And also, I have a GitHub page linked in the description below so you can reference every single line of code that we're writing in these tutorials. In this video, video three, we're gonna be drawing on images. By the end, you're gonna be able to make lines, arrows, text, those kind of things, you name it. You're gonna be able to do pretty much all of it. Each item has some nuances that I'll cover as we go through them all, but let's hop into the code. I'm here in Visual Studio. We're in number three, drawing.py. Let's close this. If you got any questions along the way or comments about future videos you want me to make, just leave a comment and I'll be sure to get to them. And while you're at it, if these things have been helpful for you, might as well subscribe and like. It's really encouraging for me and lets the YouTube algorithm promote my videos a bit more. Import CV2. As we installed it from our first video, we learned how to do that. And that's all we're gonna do there. Reminder, I'm working with cat.jpg. This is my friend's cat, Ella. It's in my assets folder, but you can use any image you'd like. This image, cat.jpg, is available on the GitHub page. Image equals cv2.imread, and then file path, assets, cat.jpg. And then we gotta go cv2, we're gonna tell it the color profile. I am read, and we want it to be full color, not grayscale, not downsize, nothing like that. Boom, we got our image. Let's add a border to the image. Before we do that, I'm just gonna display the image. So we have reference. How do we do that? If you remember, it's cv2.imshow, and then the file path, but before that, we need to title the window. Ella, the cat's name. Then we're gonna cv2.wait key. So when we press any key, it's gonna wait for us to press any key on the keyboard. And then cv2.destroy all windows. I'm gonna run that. Ella, any key. And we are exited out. Great. Let's add a border. We're going to rewrite this image. Image equals cv2 dot copy make border. And then what do we need in to include in there? I do control shift space in Visual Studio to get all the docs here. You could also look up the APIs online. References are really helpful and no shame in using the references. So our source image top, bottom, left, right, border type, and then some values, okay? Image is going to be our source image. Let's add a 20 pixel border to every top, left, bottom, right. Then here, none, because we're not porting this to anything else. Next, it's border type. What is that? What does that even mean? We can explore some options. Border, border type, equals cv2 dot border constant. And we'll check out other borders after just to show. So I'm gonna run that. And we see now we got that thin 20 by 20 pixel border all around. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. Let's say 50, just so it's more visible. 50, 50, 50, 50. Yeah, big old border. But what are the other kind of borders that CV2 lets us do? Control space to get all my options. Reflect. Run that. And if you can tell, we just got 50 pixels that get reflected. So if this were more crisp, you would see it get reflected along the border. What are our other options? Wrap. Run that. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. So it looks like it just ends off this side and then gets pushed over there. Same with this side. 
It just takes from the opposite side and wraps it around. X out of that. So you can mess with the rest of these as you wish. I'm gonna do border constant, and then we can add a color. That's called value, and then I believe it's the GBR value, so let's just make it a little green. Run that. Oh, it's uh, blue first, I suppose. Okay, blue. Okay, blue, then this one's green. This one is, the final value is red. Nice, nice blue border. Moving forward, let's add a line to the image. Image equals, can you guess what this one is? CV2 dot line, pretty intuitive. What do we gotta add here? I control shift space to pull up the docs. So we got our image, point one of the line, point two of the line, color and thickness. There's some additional options like line type and shift, but I'm not going to add those. So image, and then we're gonna start, ah, let's just start 50. Oh, we gotta do two dimensions here, 50, 50. And we're gonna go to, I don't know, 500, 500. Nice straight line. Then what was the next one? Color, and finally thickness. We already made a blue one, so let's make this line green. Color equals zero, uh, 200, zero. Nice green line. Thickness equals let's say 20 pixels. Run that. Ooh. I think it'd be funny to trace her ears with these angles, so I'm gonna quick do that and then fast forward for you. All right, I got it. I got four lines that I'm drawing here. Run that, and now Ella has green ears. Moving on, let's make an arrow. The arrow is very similar to the line so let's add some, what's called arrowed line, I believe. Arrowed line. And then it's probably just gonna be the exact same as line. We can double check. We got image, point one, point two, color and thickness. But then you can do line type shift. Oh, now you have tip length of the arrow if you'd like to adjust that. I wanna point right to Ella's head. So we got point one is the back point. I'm gonna say 50, 50. Ella's head is probably somewhere, X coordinate is gonna be, let's say 450 to 600 color. We have not done red yet, zero, zero, let's call it 200. And thickness equals a little thinner. Let's make it 10. Run that. Perfect, we are pointing. That is Ella right there. Ella. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw a circle. Image equals CV2 dot. Can you guess it? Is it, is it circle? Circle, yeah. Obviously, we're gonna be adding it to image first. Those are gonna be our pixels we're drawing on. Then, what do we need next? Pull up the documentation. We're gonna do our center, radius, color, thickness. You can do line type again and shift, but we're not going to. Center, radius, color, thickness. I'm gonna put that. Center, color, radius, thickness. Okay. Center equals, that's going to be our width and height. What do we want? We probably want to circle one of her eyes. Ah, but her eyes are closed. We'll circle. We'll give her a monocle. I think that would be nice. Um, let's see. We're going to go 450 seems good, but let's go 800 for the center. Color equals some mix of blue, green, 
nothing for the red. Radius equals, let's make it 20. If you use thickness equals negative one, it'll fill the circle in. Otherwise, some pixel value like five, that's going to be the line of the circle. So we'll run that. It's like a little above her eye. That's fine. Let's make it negative one just so you guys can see. And filled it in. We got our little blue circle. I'm actually going to make it way bigger just because this screen is also big. 100. Run that. Boink. And because I want to see that cute face, I'm going to move the circle way over to the right. Hmm. Center. 1450. Yep, now it's by her butt. Okay. Any lips? It's just a more complicated circle. Ellipse. Image. And we're going to get all the same things as the circle. We have center, color, thickness, but then some special things for the ellipse like axes, angle, start angle, end angle. Okay. Center. Axes, start angle, end, angle, color, thickness. Where do we want to put the center? Let's put the center kind of north of the previous circle. Same x coordinate. And then I'm going to make that at 400. So we're right above the circle. Axes. What are the axes? The axes are the first and second radii, radii of the ellipse. If you remember, an ellipse has two radii. Uh, the first value is going to be the horizontal one. So let's make that 100. And then the vertical one, we're going to give that a radius of 200. So if the vertical radius is fatter, it's going to kind of look like I took a circle and smushed it down like this. Start angle, let's put that at zero. This is if you don't want to color in the entire ellipse. Say you only want 310 degrees, or I'm gonna, in, in my case, I'm gonna do end angle equals 270 to get a partially filled in ellipse. Color equals, ooh, what have, what have we not done yet? Let's do RGB, GBR, blue and red. Get something purple going. 200. Ooh, where's my cursor? Then thickness equals 30. Run that. Oh no, we have an error. Oh, we forgot a parameter. Angle. I forgot the angle parameter. That's if we want to tilt the ellipse at all. Let's tilt it. Angle equals 45 degrees. So the entire ellipse, rather than being vertical or like what it would unrotated, let's rotate the whole thing 45 degrees. Run that. And we have a 45 degree rotated smushed ellipse that is only filled in 270 degrees. It's this mustard yellow. Kind of this. If you want to draw an earring on a cat, this would be how you draw the earring. Okay, I adjusted the parameters, and now she's kind of wearing an earring. Moving forward, what do I got next? The rectangle image equals CV two dot rectangle image. What are our parameters here? We got top, I think, what is it? We got one top, one corner, and then the opposite corner, and it'll fill in the other two corners. Color, thickness, and then all the extras that we could put in there if we wanted to. Okay. Point one equals, I'm going to make this go along the bottom of the image. 1,000, 
and then 50.2 equals 1,200, 1,200. Color equals, let's make it a little bit of all three, 150, 150, 150. Add some spaces for readability. Then thickness, I want it to be filled in. Run that. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. So it looks like I flip-flopped the X and Ys here. Okay. 50. There we go. And now it's along the bottom. I'm going to want to move that down a bit more. Let's make that 1,200. And then that can be 1,400. That can be 1,400. <sighs> Looks good to me. Nice gray. Actually, I'm going to make this way bigger. Let's go, to, let's go to 2,000 here. We can go all the way across. I think this is, it's a le the shape is less than 2,000 pixels, but we're just going to go all the way to the end. Make a nice bottom border, kind of. Make a nice platform for text. Image equals CV2 dot. It is not text. Unfortunately, it is put text. It would be nice just to have text, but I am not the developer and I'm not willing to be the developer because of that I will write put text. We got more options here than normal. Text, org, font face, font scale, color, thickness, line type, bottom left origin, blah, 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 blah. All right, what do any of these do? Honestly, we can just go read the doc for org because that's a confusing one. Bottom left corner of the text string in the image. Okay, so our text is going to be Ella, then a heart, less than three, org. Orge stands for origin. Origin for our X, let's put that at 300. It's not going to be centered. That's fine. Then our Y, bottom Y is 1350. Okay. Got to remember what else we need here. Font face, font scale, color, thickness. Awesome. Font face equals Gotta look at my reference here. CV2 dot font. And we got not that many options. I'm gonna do Hershey simplex. Font scale is our size. Let's make it five. Color equals black. And then thickness. We'll have to figure this one out. Thickness equals 10. Ella, oh, it looks like 1,350 is off the page. I'm going to raise that up a bit. 1,300. Ella, yeah, that is a masterpiece right there. So, OpenCV has more functions than I've just showed you. I just showed you seven of them, but there are even more. And hopefully you've picked up how to read the patterns and how to read the references. Get creative here. I'm sure you can figure it out if you've made it this far in the tutorial series. In case you haven't watched video one or two, I got the playlist linked in the description below. And that'll shoot you over into video four. We'll be working with video and webcams in OpenCV, in Python, in the next video. I'll see you there. As always, happy coding.